my friends and welcome once again to another episode of Tony's Comfort Kitchen, the home of comfort food. Today I'm cooking mozzarella chicken, which to me is a, is a, is a comfort food par excellence. You've got uh, mozzarella, you've got tomato sauce, and you've got chicken. I mean, what could be better? So if this whets your comfort food appetite like it does mine, then uh, let's crack on and get cooking. Right, we'll start off by making the tomato sauce. So we'll put a good glug of olive oil in the saucepan and I'm putting in half, or in this case, half a large onion or one whole medium onion. Give it a stir around, let it cook through until it's translucent. Can add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, it's been about three minutes now. <clears throat> the, uh, the onions are going translucent. So we'll add in the equivalent of about three cloves of garlic. Cook that down. Okay, so now it's time to add a little bit of spice. So we have some uh, sweet paprika. You could put smoked if you want, but I tend to use sweet in this one. Uh, so it's a, a teaspoon of uh, sweet paprika, a teaspoon of oregano or oregano, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And get all of it. A little scrape of nutmeg. Oh, a lovely, lovely smell. Cook those in gently. This was a, a tin, a 520 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. So mix those in, let them cook down a little bit, and then I'll add some stock. It doesn't matter with these onions, it doesn't matter uh, how big you chop them up because we are actually going to, I'm going to blitz them with a little hand, a, a wand um, uh, uh, blitzer, <laughs> for want of a better word, a wand blender, I think that's right. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, so I'll add the uh, stock, which is 300 millilitres of uh, chicken stock. And then it's just a case of cooking this down, let it reduce a little bit, and then we'll get the, uh, the little wand um, blender and blend it into a, a nice smooth paste. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now and the, uh, the uh, tomato sauce is, is starting to reduce a little bit. So what I will do is switch off the heat Let it cool down just a couple of seconds. So I'll get my little wand and just blitz it up. And that is the first part of the dish finished. Right, I forgot to mention that this dish is probably good enough for, for two people. So there's uh, a breast of chicken for each person. Um, now these, these breasts are quite, they're quite thick at one end and I want to, 
to sort of level out the, um, the thickness of the, the, the breast so it cooks more evenly. So uh, as you can see, I've got some cling film or, or uh, the Ameri I forgot what the Americans call it, um, wrap, plastic wrap. Um, got some plastic wrap cling film um, underneath the chicken. Put another sheet over the top. It will behave itself. It has. And just pound them out slightly, just to just to even out the thickness, as I say. Doesn't need to be too thin. Hope you can hear me. And that that'll do it for me. So they're I don't know what about a centimetre thick, um, centimetre and a half thick. I don't know. Anyway, good enough for me. So we will have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. In, I'm going to fry them in a frying pan that will go either in a frying pan or a casserole dish that will go uh, on the, the stove top and also in the oven as well. Okay, so I have my cast iron frying pan or skillet, American. So we'll add the chicken. Okay, so we had the chicken cook it on a, a medium heat, um, brown it. We don't have to cook it all the way through because it is going to go into the to the oven afterwards. Um, so if it's as long as it's three quarter cooked, it, uh, it should be okay. In a few minutes now, just turn these rest over. Continue to cook. Okay, so the chicken is now nicely browned on both sides, and it's probably ninety percent cooked through, ninety ninety five percent. So I'm now going to add the uh, tomato sauce. nice to add plenty because you can have it with I don't know, rice, pasta, potatoes, whatever. But they'll all soak up some of that lovely sauce. I haven't used all of the sauce by the way, but it's always to make, nice to make too much rather than too little. I forgot to mention that uh, I will put all the ingredients and the measures and everything below in the description. So, uh, as ever, if you need to know, look below. I'm using 400 grams of mozzarella for this dish. Uh, it seems a lot of cheese, but I think it deserves it. So we'll now add this wonderful mozzarella. Like I said, there's a lot here, but I mean, let's face it, that is the name of the dish. Who doesn't love mozzarella? Okay, I'm going to place it in the oven uh, for 15 minutes or 15 20 minutes um, at a temperature of about 200 degrees C, uh, just under 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, then it should be ready to eat. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and I'm about to take it out of the oven. Four. Oh. Wow, look at that. I'm using my heat proof gloves, which are not entirely heat proof. Well, hey, my friends, this is going to be lovely. Uh, this is going to be divine, in fact. It's um, cheesy, but in a nice way. It's uh, very gooey. 
uh, stringy. <laughs> and hang on. Ooh. Bloody tasty, I tell you. As far as comfort food goes, this is up there with the best around. <laughs> if you want to make this, please do and let me know in the comments below how you get on. You won't be disappointed. It's, oh man. Yes, it uses a lot of um, uh, mozzarella. You can use less if you want, but I wouldn't. Why? Why would you want to do that? You know. Um, anyway, leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video. And uh, as ever, my friends, peace and love, my friends. Peace and love. Stay safe. Stay healthy.